What's going on guys, this is Bryce here and we're back with a video talking about Yeet's new album, 2093. I kind of want to make this a conversational video, you know, I'm doing something a little bit different. Talk about my thoughts here, not really album review, but just a career album overview. What's going on with Yeet, how I feel about the album and all the things in between. So not a lot of editing in here, no news really, but a one-on-one, -on -one, you know. So sit back, relax, vibe out with me. Let's talk about Yeet's new album. So. As I just said, 2093 is finally out. It's been almost a year since Ye dropped now, so we finally got it. And it was pretty silent up to then. He wasn't really doing features. He wasn't really on socials. He wasn't really doing much, literally, at all. But we did get the album. It's called 2093. Now, there was a long kind of rollout for this, and it was very cool. I really enjoyed the rollout. That was kind of like this lifestyle corporation, all this shit, all this like AI video stuff. I thought it was cool. And then, you know, he, he did kind of up his aura before the album came out with getting this new crazy chain. So we kind of knew at least the image of what we were getting into for the album. But the sound, I wasn't sure of. Now, we did get lots of snippets and stuff leading up to the album. And it kind of sounded like it was going in this, like, futuristic, cyberpunkish direction. And we were right. The whole album, apart from a few tracks, is really this, like, futuristic sound. And it plays into the concept and theme of the album perfectly. Now, this is something that I love to see Yeet do. Now, I'm not going to sit here... Pretend like I liked every single second, every single song in the album, because I didn't. I liked most of it, and I thought it, it was a really good effort. But I love that Yeet, coming from someone from the underground, coming from this new era, actually took a page out of established artist's book and rebranded himself. And now this image, I don't, I say rebrand, it's not exactly a rebrand. It still aligns pretty perfectly with what Yeet stood for as far as visually, sonically, and stuff like that. But he took it to another level. I mean, just meshing these kind of industrial EDM-esque sounds in the intros and outros to the songs and stuff, it really creates a world, and I can just see this shit going crazy at festivals, and I'm talking EDM festivals too. I could hear them play and breathe, that shit ain't going crazy, bro. I mean, it has that bounce, it has that club feel, it literally does feel like some, I keep saying it, but some cyberpunk, like I need a laser gun in my hand, I need to be shooting aliens in the face when I listen to this album. And Yeet actually created a world that makes sense with his brand and makes sense with everything, and he came out with the album. Now, I don't think it's his best album. I like To Alive the most, I know that's kind of unpopular, a lot of people love Up To Me more, I think To Alive was his best album, in my opinion. And that's not just traditional Yeet sound. I think that's where he hit his pinnacle of that sound, but I don't want him to keep doing the same thing forever like everyone wants him to do. The main complaint I and a lot of people had with Yeet's music, and the reason I kind of fell off of his music the last year or two, really, since I just felt like a lot of it sounded the same. Now, his last project was a little different, but I wasn't enjoying that direction as much, and I think he saw that, and he went in a direction that makes a lot more sense for him and for his fans, and I like it. Now, there have been a lot of sh people shitting on the album, and I'm curious what you guys think. Even if you don't like the album, I think, objectively, you can kind of look at this from the perspective I'm giving you guys and be like, okay, at least he's doing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm curious what you guys think about the album. If you think this was a good move for you, because I think it's a... I, I don't want to use the word genius, because it's kind of like doing the bare minimum if you're trying to stay relevant as an artist but these artists lives change shit changes they get more famous they have new ideas they get more creative they need to change yeet is not doing the same thing anymore i'm glad that my main complaint for yeet isn't that all his sound song the same anymore even though they really didn't but it was kind of in that same lane and this really pushed him outside of that lane but it still shows that when he does go back and make some of those more traditional songs i think not only will he do it better but it will be more refreshing for us, it'll be more polished, and I think we will enjoy it more as a whole because he's already sat here and done all this other shit and he could just infuse elements of that into his traditional sound and he's going to evolve as an artist. I'm very curious to see what the next step for Yeet is, but I'd imagine it's kind of building up on this whole futuristic aesthetic kind of theme and not really going too out of left field, but he could pull a Playboy Cardi and you never know. But we're gonna have to wait and see. That's probably not at the very least like a year away. But like I said, wanted to come on this video, do a little conversational piece, and I really hope you guys enjoyed, because this is kind of what I like doing here. I like doing the news for artists. I'm still going to do it. I love doing it. I like doing my tier list. I like doing all the content I like doing. But we're trying out new things, because I've been doing this for over two years, and your boy isn't even at 9K yet. And I don't want to be broke forever. So any support on the channel, I would, I would greatly appreciate. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed watching, 
Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on videos, updates, anything like that. Go in the description, follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram, get that weekly updated new music for our plays, join my Discord down there too. And yeah, it's been Bryce. Peace.